Okay. Uh, at the moment, the uh, um, the system is actually running in emulation mode, so it's emulating the Sonic Ranger. And because Sonic Ranger cannot report a zero meter, um, I added a one meter offset. So when it says two meters, the uh, the glider or the uh, the collision card is actually at one meter. So if I start moving this to say 1.6 meters, roughly, it will actually show 2.6 meters. And the accuracy is roughly comparable to a Sonic Ranger, um, about 5 millimeters uh, fluctuation uh, at, at times. So um, you can also record the, uh, the motion with, uh, with this button. Actually, I set it up to record for, for 5 seconds, so uh, let's give it a try. Motion, record. I guess it was a little too slow when I was pressing the record button. But I did record down actually two different parts of the motion. The first part was uh, moving to the left and then it bounces into the, uh, the, uh, the stop at the end of the track and bounces back. Apparently it loses a, a little bit of speed, so the left side has a, speed, a steeper slope compared to the right side. Also, the, the bouncing against the track jitters the track a little bit, so the reading actually went a little bit uh, uh, up and down over there. And uh, this is the, uh, the emulation mode. If I escape from the emulation mode with the local button, uh, this is the reading right here, 1.24. It doesn't have the uh, the one meter offset right here, 1.24, right in the middle, and um, this is also a little more responsive. If I move, uh, the reading changes quite quickly. But if it's changing too fast or switching too fast, I can pause it or unpause it to uh, move to a different location. I didn't really have a speed display because um, there's a little bit of cram of space and I was actually just displaying the, the four gauges instead for, uh, uh, for troubleshooting. But uh, uh, displaying the speed shouldn't be too hard uh, at all. If I just take the, uh, the different positions and divide by the time difference, um, it would be fairly easy uh, to, uh, to program and maybe display on the second line. 